So I've got a slightly different video for you today. I'm down here in Magaluf and I have a special guest on my channel. Now, for those of you who watch other travel vloggers on YouTube, you're going to know the Scotsman in Tenerife. So I am here with Kevin. Kevin, welcome to my channel. Hello, Alex. Thanks very much for having me on. Hello, viewers. Beautiful Mallorca. Glad I came here. Okay, so we're going to take a walk along the Magaluf seafront here. Kevin is over here for a few days making some vlogs for his channel, so I'm going to have a chat to him about how he has found travelling on the budget here in Magaluf. So we're starting a walk here on the far end of Magaluf Beach, and we're going to take a little walk along the seafront here. Okay, Kevin, so tell me, how long are you over here in Mallorca for? Hi, Alex. I'm here for five days, so a short trip. And um, which resorts are you staying in? I was in Palma for the first night, Alex. I'm in Magaluf for two nights. Tomorrow I'm going to Santa Ponza and then I'm finishing off up in Alcudia. Okay, so as many of you who do follow Kevin's channel, Scotsman in Tenerife, you're going to know that, uh, that Kevin's videos aren't just limited to Tenerife and he's been all over Europe this summer, particularly in Spain. So how do you think Magaluf compares to Tenerife or in fact anywhere else you've been? Um, well, it's a bit different, that's for sure. Um, it's got something for everybody, I think. I think people underestimate. Apart from the strip, there's a lot more that Magaluf offers. Down at the promenade here, we've got some beautiful beach bars. Just walk along to Palma Nova, really nice as well. So I'm enjoying my stay here. It's a wee trip down memory lane. I was here when I was younger. It's good to be back. OK, Kevin, so how much did you pay for your hotel accommodation over here? Where have you been able to book yourself a night? That's right, Alex. We're here on a budget, just doing videos. So, first night I stayed in Palma. I stayed in the Bock Youth Hostel, something a wee bit different. Um, very nice youth hostel, actually. Rooftop swimming pool. I paid, well, £40.69 for the first night. But there was a wee catch. I had a voucher through Hotels.com for £37, which I've been building up as I've been staying in different places. You collect stamps. So, as a wee tip for viewers you book through hotels.com so I ended up paying £3.69 for the first night accommodation. Magaluf last night I stayed at the Hostel Jacketon £67 and I'm staying at the Flamboyant Caribe Hotel tonight £90 half board. Okay and so how about for your final two nights accommodation what have you been able to find down here? Well final two nights was quite tricky Saturday night in Mallorca wasn't sure where I was going to go Alex but tomorrow I'm going to Santa Ponza I think the hotel is called the Santa Ponza Pins uh, it was £76 bed and breakfast and then I'm up in Alcudi again in another wee hostel type place and that was £51 OK, I'm actually beginning to think that it's probably cheaper um, if you're coming out here on the package holiday to get your flights, transfers and accommodation included for a week here in Mallorca than trying to self-package your trip itself, do you reckon? I think that's definitely true, Alex. It's, it's one of the first places I've been to where I've thought I've made a mistake here booking it last minute because it's very, very busy. Accommodation is quite limited. So obviously the prices are maybe going up in some, some areas, some resorts. So I would definitely say Mallorca, if you find a good deal on a package holiday, it's definitely more affordable. If you book it in advance, probably I would advise that as well. Um, but you can always find deals, just depends. I'm obviously moving about different resorts every night, so it can be a wee bit tricky, but you'll find something. So if you're wondering why the beach is quite empty, well, it's going to be a whole different scene tomorrow and over the weekend as more residents come out. And also, of course, you're going to get an increasing number of holiday makers as well coming out here as we move further on into peak season. Okay, Kevin, so tell me, what do you think about the nightlife down here in Magaluf? Have you been out? I've been out, Alex. I've done a wee video on the strip last night, about half past one in the morning. That was quite interesting. Um, it's very unusual because Magaluf, during the day, up near the strip, it's almost empty. There's not really many places open. They don't open until maybe eight, nine o'clock at night. And then when it comes to about 11 o'clock, 12, it's as if they've bust hundreds of people in, they've just emerged from nowhere. It's so different at night. So I've done a video last night. Obviously it's a great place for the young ones. It's really aimed at that probably age group in the strip. But there's plenty of bars just off the strip and heading towards Palma Nova that may be more suitable for my age group. I found quite a few places with live music as well. So it's got something for everyone. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I've been down I've been down the strip as well before that kind of time of night and it does look a little bit dead unless there's a football match on or something like that. So yeah, definitely if you're coming down the strip, don't get down here until about 10, 11 o'clock. Then you'll find a lot of life down here. 
So we're just coming up past the Wave House here in Magaluf. So Kevin, tell me, which airport did you fly out from and who do you fly with and how much were your flights? Well, flying with Ryanair in this one, a wee bit nervous about it because regular viewers who watch my channel would have noticed I was in the Costa del Sol recently and Ryanair cancelled a flight at the last minute. It was delayed for four hours, but flight suited me, so I booked from Glasgow Presswick. Now, Scottish viewers will know that as Presswick. Ryanair call it Glasgow Presswick because it's about 40 minutes away from Glasgow. The flight out was £21.99. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so it was very cheap, and the flight on the way back, Alex, is a wee bit dearer. It's £80. Whoa, so well, that's, that's really good value, actually. And, and how was your experience coming over? Did you get any delays or...? No delays at all. Presswick Airport is a small regional airport, so with all the things going on at UK airports just now, if you've got a small airport nearby, I'd probably recommend it because the less flights going out from the airport, the less chance of hassle. Mm -hmm. Flight was going out first thing in the morning, so plan was, if, as long as the airplane's there, it'll go in time, and it did. It was 2 hours 20 minutes, which is amazing to get here in this heat, in 2 hours 20 minutes from Scotland. You can see why Mallorca is so attractive for people. Yeah, it's definitely worth doing for sure. Yeah. Okay, so finally, tell me, um, what do you think of the prices out here? Whether you're getting a beer or you're getting a coffee, tell me what your experience, is, your experience has been of eating out here in Mallorca. Well, Alex, I would say it's pretty affordable, probably mid-range. Mm. Um, I've been to obviously a lot of places recently, Tenerife, Costa del Sol, Albafura, um, Portugal. So Portugal, I'd say, is more, was more expensive in the tourist places I was in than here, from what I've seen so far. Um, price of a beer, I've seen pints for two euros, can't complain. Um, restaurant, I'd say, is very similar price to other places I've been. So I would say the prices are pretty mid-range. I wouldn't say it's the cheapest resort, and it's definitely not the most expensive. But it depends where you go. It's got something to suit all budgets. Yeah, that's true. I think whether you eat out, wherever you eat out in Mallorca, you can spend as much or as little as you like, depending on what your budget is. So Kevin, if you are looking to eat out on a budget down here in Mag Magaluf, come on down to the happy place here. So you've got a pint of beer and I know I've mentioned it previously in my live streams for just two euros. Pot of tea is 175. So really good value. And of course Tom Brown's too, which is absolutely legendary down here in Magaluf. They do some really well priced meals. Really good to come down here for a, a, for a big fry at breakfast as well. And also, you can't beat the sea views that you can get from these restaurants here. Just take a look at this. Okay, so Kevin, would you recommend, if anyone still hasn't booked a holiday out here in Magaluf and they can't get hold of a package holiday, would you recommend coming out here this summer? I would definitely still recommend it, Alex. I think if you can get a good package deal, it's probably going to be better for you, but the flights to Mallorca are pretty affordable. Accommodation, depending on what area you're looking to stay in. Um, Magluf can be a wee bit more expensive at the weekend because all the young ones are here, but it's still pretty affordable. And remember, it's only a couple of hours flight from most UK airports, so it's, it's got a lot going for it, Mallorca. Okay, Kevin, thanks very much for walking along at Magaluf Beach with me and also thanks for your insights too about coming over to Mallorca on holiday. Now don't forget everyone, Kevin's got loads of content coming out on his channel on the Scotsman in Tenerife, so go ahead and ch check that out if you're interested in coming over here to Mallorca. Kevin, thanks for joining me and thanks so much um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks very much, Alex. It's been an absolute pleasure being on your channel. You've got a great channel. I've got so many viewers on the channel when I was going over here mentioned you have to go and meet Alex. So I'm very, very glad I came and met you and I'm glad I come back to Mallorca. It's been a while since I've been here and I'll be back next year. Brilliant. Thanks very much for joining me. From Kevin and I here in Magaluf, until the next video, goodbye for now.